Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next... I have been waiting for you, Arisen. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. told, I'm rather satisfied with my performance. Ah, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Good. 
This really is fine craftsmanship. Now there's a worthy prize. If only Twent's I... Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. Uh, I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself. Uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. Apologies, sir, but we've not got any archer staves or great swords in stock at the moment. Goods aren't flowing as freely as they used to, see? Seems monsters have gotten a taste for our ox carts, because attacks are on the rise. Strangely enough, tis the arms shipments that are being targeted the most. I just hope this doesn't mean the beasts are gaining an intellect. So far, no one's done a thing about it. And if this keeps on, my business is doomed. I hesitate to ask, but what of you, sir? Should you take interest in aiding my plight, pray speak to the guild head, Klaus. Tell is. Vermund was once a beastron kingdom. Fascinating. Indeed, though it is not widely known among the common folk. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. 
and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Well met, son. How might I be of service? Oh, what does this say? A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. What to do? Well met, sir. Fancy a gander? Fine wares all. What to make of this? As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, 
Allow me to summarize them for you. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now, though I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. The absolute nerve of him colliding into you and running off. Has no one any respect for the Arisen in this city? Onward to Vernworth Castle. Could you come over here? My bed calls, but I shan't resist. There's a ladder here. After you were risen. Do you know? How long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Tis not our place to let me know if you are in need of aid. people depend on me. Such quiet you is a blessing. I'm in fine. 
no, you don't. You're not allowed in here. Arisen. Yes? The captain, follow me! Is this some manner of you move along. Should one of the other guards spy you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, your majesty. Forget all my troubles here. Who's there? Pray, keep your voice low. It wouldn't be good for either of us if someone was summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? Aye, Deesa is my mother. Pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. It was never my intent to deceive you. I simply feared that if I spoke the truth, none would wish to involve themselves with me. But that is no longer a concern. It is clear that we are allied in purpose. My word! You mean to say that you are the true Arisen? That the Sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender? Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? Me? No, sir. Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the Regent Kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Forgive me. My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. You ought leave the palace at once. 
This room turned up little of interest, but I have a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain Brandt if I discover aught you should know. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that opportunity to make good your escape. Sven, where have you been? Forgive me. I couldn't sleep. I thought a stroll might clear my head. to proceed. Uh, I assume you haven't forgotten the delivery we were to make here, Arisen? I only hope the recipient is pleased with our work. I suppose tis so. We're going this way now, I suppose. By your will. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this detour. We must respect our master's wishes. Hold a moment. Haven't we already found what's being asked of us here? Have we purchased all that we require?
We ought to review the contents of our packs, just to be sure. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortunes. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah, hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? It would seem we've a need to scrounge up information. It is tedious work, but I suppose we'd best get to it. It is as you say. It is clear you're not interested in arriving at our destination, so I'll hold off on guiding us there for now. Is there aught I can assist you with? Is... is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together, but I overslept and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. 
Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. Malcolm? All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. Shall we report back now? Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mention rubble, aye? And perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. Every little thing you find, and your pack will soon outweigh you. Well, I know it, yet I cannot seem to resist. I dare say that's part and parcel of the adventurous trade. So the Queen Regent is plotting something after all. I thought as much. Huzzah! We must inform Captain Brant at once. I know where that person can be found, Master. This way. Where? Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. I should be glad to assist you, Arisen. Not like a curative to fill one with vim. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick? You'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly? Perhaps we ought to take a look. Shall we follow, Master? True enough. Over here! Come look! 
heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It near boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. Tis surely at any scholar's... I suppose tis so? Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow, and mind the ceiling. Pray, speak up, should you notice or to miss. Here, if you please. Is there no getting through this door? We're going this way now, I suppose. By your will. Perhaps the Arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Fret not! I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Could you come over here?
There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. How fared your mission? Was there aught suspicious to be found in the Queen Regent's office? This scrap. It was part of a letter, and from Batal, no less. This alone can prove little, but it is clear that Deez's schemes run deep. To think, Deez's actions have weighed even on the mind of her own son. Tis a surprise, but a welcome one. Deza is a, the doting mother before the Regent King. If Regent King Sven is willing to aid us by drawing Deza's focus, we may be able to gain here more useful information. You have done well, Your Majesty. Though I am limited in the aid I am able to offer, I bid you, take this. It seems we were right to suspect the Queen Regent. We ought to keep an eye on her in the days to come. This is beyond me, I'm afraid. Queen Regent it is. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask? I thank you, Your Majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. We have been charged with the felling of monsters. I foresee naught but success on the path that lies ahead. I'm glad of any business in these troubled times. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Always a pleasure. Welcome. Here, if you please. Someone is looking this way. Is there aught about me that caught their eye? Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember... Misers. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. There's a ladder here. After you arisen. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? What to do? Are you trying to help me? How cruel! Hmm. Look, master! Goblins! We cannot be too careful. Not care in the 
Just as it should be. Splendid. <laughs> 